Hi there. I am Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. Now I am going to do a, a quick little synopsis of how to manifest and what not to do because when we're doing the things we shouldn't be doing, we don't get the results we desire. And so I'm going to give you a couple of steps and a metaphor to help you understand. So let's just say you are hungry and you go into your favorite restaurant and you sit down and the delightful wait staff comes over. Let's just say it's Jane. Jane comes to your table and she says, what would you like? And you say, I Jane looks at you. <sighs> Food? Okay, well, have you looked at the menu? Oh yes, I've looked at the menu and I, I want to eat. And then Jane will look at you again and say, well, what would you like to eat? And you say, well, I'd like some food. Jane's gonna to say to you, okay, um, that's great. Have a look at the menu. And when you decide what you want, I'll come back. That's what the universe does when we send something out there. Let's just say, I want a lover. I want, I want a boyfriend. I want somebody to love me. And so the universe will send you Tom, Dick, Harry, Mary, Sue, you know, you're going to find all kinds of people will cross your path and you're going to meet them and go, what? I didn't order that. I didn't order that. I didn't ask for that. I didn't want that. But the universe is sending you the generic that you asked for. You asked for something generic. You asked for food. And so at the restaurant, the waitress can't bring you what you want because you haven't dictated with clarity. I would like to have a vegan meal of, I don't know. <laughs> you have to specify, be clear what it is you want. So for me, let's just say, I'll go to the restaurant and I'll say, I would love to have a uh, a salad with avocado and cucumber and red onions. So that's that's my starter. And then I would like to have, let's just say, spaghetti and meatballs. And I'd like a red sauce. I'm being very specific. The chef knows exactly what I want. The waitress knows exactly what I want. I have been clear with my order. However, <laughs> which is the case with so many of us, we go, I want a new car. I want money. And the universe is going, well, <laughs> does she want a Ford? Does she want a Lexus? Does she want a Lincoln? Does she want a Cadillac? Does she want an SUV, a four wheel, a two wheel? What does she want? I am going to go serve Mary because Mary is crystal clear and is giving me a very clear order of what she wants. Do you see the difference? Okay, so we, and I've been harping on this for months. We have to have clarity. And you know, I'm dating currently. And yes, I am writing a book about dating. And I'm writing about how to find Mr. Right. Now, do you think you find Mr. Right on your first date? Well, if that's what you think, good luck to you. <laughs> so that is why so many and women have a tendency to do it way more than men. We think that in one or two dates that that's all we need to find the right person and then we settle for that person. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't wonderful people out there. That's not what I'm saying the opposite. There are millions and millions of wonderful people out there. And my guides have said to me very clearly that we could love anyone. We could love anyone. We could also love any car. It doesn't matter whether we're talking about a relationship or a car. But you know, when you go to buy a car, you want to know, okay, I, no, I don't want a Chevy. No, I don't want a Subaru. No, I don't want a um, Hyundai. 
we are specific on the brand that we want and then we decide we want a two-door or a four-door, a two-wheel or a four-wheel drive. We want leather or cloth. Do you see? It's a sorting process. We have to be completely crystal clear on our order because if we're not, the universe is going to go on to the next person. And you will find, you will get those things. You know, you, <laughs> you wonder why, why are all these, um, these men coming that I'm not interested in? Because you haven't been crystal clear with your order. And furthermore, you keep dating the person that isn't right for you. <laughs> okay, so let me just see. Anybody? <laughs> so clarity. Um, the, the other thing that we need is we need to have focus in our mind. And when there's too much chatter in, in our mind and the mind isn't calm, this is one of the things I help you do, is quiet the mind chatter. My mind is quiet. It used to be crazy in there. There were a lot of conversations. I, you know, I used to have an aunt that talked to herself out loud and responded to her conversation. You know, so uh, having been a little crazy in the past, here's the thing that I will tell you, we can quell this craziness. I managed to, and I, I'm not exceptional. I just was committed to do what I needed to do to get where I wanted to go. And now I'm helping other people become enlightened. I'm helping people become happy because I know what to do. I've been crystal clear on the path. See what I mean? When you're crystal clear, and, and here's the other thing that I'll tell you. The, the more that we quiet the mind and the more order we have in our home, the more things start to flow. I, I, my book is writing itself. I'm in the shower. I'm getting chapters downloaded to me. This is what you need to say in this order. That's what starts to happen. The universe just feeds you. When we're in the flow, when we have clarity, okay, so I hear somebody saying, but there's a lot of chatter. Okay, so use a mantra. I love me. Now, if that doesn't work for you, how about this one? I am loved. And you just float it through the background of your mind. It's just like a little cloud that comes in. I am loved. And you are loved. There's nothing to do. It, there's nothing to prove. We don't have to be perfect. We are already loved. And I'm telling you this with incredible uh, clarity and absolute faith. It's been shown to me multiple times. And when I'm channeling for my clients in sessions, I will get information from the Ascended Masters. Tell her, tell him how much they are loved. We love them. Tell them how they are accepted. We don't have to be perfect to be loved. We don't have to be perfect to be worthy. You're already worthy. You're already enough. You're already loved. <sighs> Life is so much easier when we just accept it. We don't have to fight to be loved. We don't have to tell somebody how wonderful we are for the universe to love us, for us to be uh, accepted and loved. And, and then the more that we accept that we are all, each individual is special. You are special. There's no one else like you. You're unique for a reason. Okay, so back to the clarity. <laughs> okay, so take a nice deep breath. We'll do a little process here, okay? So we can help you get grounded. Close your eyes. Uncross your arms and legs. I'm barefoot, by the way. Um, I like to be barefoot. It grounds me. I got my feet flat on the ground. So I want you to just take a nice deep breath. Open your palms. So palms up. You can rest them in your lap. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale completely. One more time. This will bring you into the present. We're going to get you grounded. Ah. 
one more. Filling your lungs all the way to the top. Take another deep breath. And now exhale. Relax your shoulders. Let that air go all the way down. Travel through your body, through your feet, down into the center of the earth. Take a nice deep breath. Bringing in that grounded energy up to your heart. Breathe again. Breathing brings you into the present. So I'm going to apply grounding to you too. Is that helpful? So I'll apply grounding to you. There's nothing to do. You're already loved and accepted. I am worthy. I am deserving. I am a powerful co-creator. So our beliefs govern our world. If you believe you cannot manifest, you won't be able to manifest. You are a powerful creator. The universe will prove you right. That's what the universe does. So if you say, I can't do this, you won't be able to do this. So how can I do this? How can I manifest easily? Guides, angels, help me, please. Help me learn how to manifest. Help me quiet my mind. Take a deep breath. Smile to your heart. All right, in this next inhalation, we're going to bring down white light down through the top of your head, through the center of your head, and it's going to totally relax your face, relax and clear, eliminate anything, any chatter, eliminating, eliminating the chatter, grounding it into the center of the earth. Excellent. Take another deep breath. Ah, how can I easily and effortlessly have and then fill in the blank? One thing at a time. Here's the thing with crystal clarity. We cannot manifest a, a vacuum cleaner, a car, a house, and $50,000 all at the same time. We do it separately. One, 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 one idea at a time. One thing at a time. And you can have it all. You absolutely can have it all. Take a nice deep breath. I am loved. I am enough. I am deserving. Okay, so now back to the drawing board. What I'll tell you is writing down with clarity what it is you want is one of the most powerful things you can do. The written word is way more powerful than the thought. You can intend with a thought, I intend to have a beautiful day no matter the weather. I intend to have a fabulous experience at Jennifer's Live Energy Clearing tonight at 6 p.m. Mountain. Yes, you're invited. I intend to have focus and clarity in my day. The intention is like waving your magic wand over your day, over your life. I intend to love myself fearlessly. I intend to bring joy and happiness to everyone I meet. I intend, whatever your intention is, you can write it down, but you can also just kind of wave it over your, your life. Order, having order in your life, powerful, ordering with clarity, Remember what I said at the beginning, if you go to a restaurant and you just say, I want food, the waitress is going to get exasperated with you. So are the people at the table. They may end up ordering for you and you get what you don't want. So with crystal clarity, you will have your desires. 
So thank you so much for being here. I love you. I hope this was helpful. See you tonight at 6 p.m. Mountain. And the Zoom link is below. And if you can't find it, send me an email at jenniferelizabethmasters at gmail. And I'll send you the link. It's 6 p.m. Mountain, one hour, no sales pitch, just a clearing. And we'll have a little chit chat. You can get to ask questions at the end. I love you. Mwah. Thanks for being here.